Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I wanna go over the Story Framework Interactive Template. This was gifted to me by Visual One in order to do a video on it. And this is currently on sale for 30 bucks instead of 40. And let's go ahead and get started. So uh, upon clicking begin play, you'll see this uh, little menu on the left with some camera angles. And you can see our third person character right here sitting down. And you can select continue, new game, settings, quit. And as you can see, the, the settings actually do work. So if I set this to something like 50%, the volume will go down. Yeah, and this is just a really nice, I love this. I think this template looks really, really nice. It gives a very good representation of what the game could be. So I'll just set this to max volume, hit back, and then I will select new game. And upon selecting new game, you're gonna see our character, Yui Fen Manikin, with a backpack. There's a note tab, and I can just left click to read it. There's a hovering interaction icon, and it appears, wow, this is really nice. This is quality. This is a really nice quality framework. And it's only 30 bucks right now, which is awesome. So I don't get paid for this. Just letting you know, this is just my first opinions. And of course it can change throughout the video. And I can uh, use my left and right arrow keys to go through the pages. Okay, that fan's kind of annoying. What is this? Hello? What does that sound? Okay, whatever. Uh, controls manual. I can click E to look. Oh, nice. There's also like an interact feature. This kind of reminds me of um, like Amnesia and Skyrim and those types of games. And then I can click E to read and it'll show up the little UI with the with the text on it. So I'll click hit F to back. Um, I probably should have read that, but it's totally fine. And I'm gonna read this last note. Okay, never mind. So I'm just gonna move forward, documentation board. Okay, so clicking this actually just pops a launcher. It pops this launcher, which is a story framework documentation by Steven Meyer. So, okay, I actually just clicked on that a bunch of time. All right. So now it says primary interaction is going to be E or X, um, X as in controller. If you're if you're playing this with a controller, I do love that it has controller settings already set up. So when I click E on this, actually left click, worked. Oh, okay, that's the that's the sound of the light. All right, let's turn that off. That's that's loud, and it kind of teaches you how to use the framework. So we can get the cassette over here. So I can uh, left click to pick up, and when I hit T, it'll open my it'll show my little UI or inventory and I can click X to drop. And when I drop it, you can see that the cassette is right there. So I'll close my inventory to click by clicking T again, and I'll pick this up and I'll place this in this monitor and I'll play it. All right, this cassette sucks. All right, anyways, moving forward. Oh, nice. So there's more interaction stuff over here. Maddox up ahead and fixed camera to the right. What is fixed camera? Oh, oh, this is nice. Okay, this, <laughs> this looks super nice. No, I didn't mean to do that. I hate these lights. Oh, that's a mirror. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is this is sick. What is this? Yeah, I, I really like this. I like how the camera's focusing on my character. It gives it a very cinematic view. Um, Man, this this looks really well polished. All right, I don't know what you're saying, bro. Relax. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's just a creator's voice. Uh, another cassette. I'm guessing there's nothing in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, and a little animated scene when it played. I thought something was about to happen, but. All right, so now let's check out the cinematics. Oh, I can even right click to aim. Okay, nice. Or like zoom in a little bit and kind of aim. So this is the demo level. If I sit, I'm guessing it'll play the cinematic. So this covers the story framework interactive template by Visual One. It's a large scale single player interactive game template focusing on educating and practicality. I found this to be great. I actually really, really like this. Uh, really like this. This is this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I think you can easily make a game with the controls and settings that they already have set up for you. It looks really polished. And yeah, you can definitely add on to this, like adding a combat system and so on. It is single player, but definitely uh, a very, very, I mean, I, I don't know. This is, this is, this kind of blew me out of the park. I did not expect this plugin to be this good looking for for just 30 bucks. And yeah, thanks for watching Coded Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. Let me know if you get the plugin in the in the comment below. I might do some, um, if quite a few of you get it, feel free to join my Discord. I can maybe help you or guide you through this plugin to see uh, if you want to merge your characters into it, help make your game, maybe add some combat system and so on. But yeah, thanks for watching Coded Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.